So today what I want to try and do is uh, hit the uh, east side of the island and uh, see if we can find this one location that is very very calming and the difference between today and the days before is that when the sun sets today the tide should be very very low that should reveal a lot of the patterns in the sand that the water makes as the tide uh, gets uh, pushed out or, or recedes back sometimes it can just be a beautiful thing so we'll see and let's go check out that spot What's up guys so we are here down by the east side of the island the cool part about today is that the tide shows that it will be below one foot at the same time as the uh, sun sets and in this area when the tide is low it makes these weird cool looking patterns in the sand and that's what I'm going for today. Hopefully it comes out. What I really want is the afterglow because I love afterglow. And um, if the afterglow does come out, I think it'll be pretty cool. So we'll see what we get today. Hopefully it's good. Alright guys, so as you can see, the sun has not come close to setting yet. We have about an hour left before the sun actually sets. So I have to get ready, but if you can see here, the water line comes all the way up there. This is actually a really small beach. And uh, right now, it's already starting to create these cool patterns in the sand here. You see that? And I think that these patterns are going to look awesome. So. The sun sets at 5.59 today, and when it actually hits 6 o'clock p.m., that is when everything goes below zero. I should say everything goes below zero feet as far as the tide goes. I think it'll look pretty cool. And somewhere down there, there's actually more that will present itself from inside the water. But we'll just have to see. We still have some time, and so the tide is still pulling back. That's what it looks like right now. We're about half an hour into the sunset. This here is the lines. So I kind of want to use these lines out to the sunset there. Hopefully it looks pretty cool. So I think I'm going to probably set up over here. More of the sand is probably going to reveal itself a little later. And so I might have to move, but at least I want to be able to set up. So let me do that first. Let me just do a pan here. This place is absolutely beautiful. I come here all the time. The sunsets here are just sometimes beautiful. Today may not be that day where it is beautiful, but a lot of times it is. This is how my gear is set up now. I'm pretty low to the ground, but unfortunately the uh, panel head adds some length to the center column. So my zero center column, center column that I purchased, you know, brings it down a bit, but not as much as I'd like it to be. But I guess in a lot of ways, going back to the 28 millimeter, you know, the closer I am to the ground, the more I have to uh, stack the image. And so with that focal length, you know, I'd much rather have a 16 millimeter so I can get away with, you know, I'll probably still have to stack, but it won't be as much. So in any case, hopefully I can get something good out of this image here and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, let me show you what I'm looking at here. So just a quick adjustment like that, bringing it about a foot lower, taking that panel head off. You can see the clouds are coming in. I love that. So now we're getting color. 
you can see all these nice leading lines going out and my little subject over here I don't know if you can see that and then some palm trees up there so um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put my hand in front okay that resets my stack okay now all I'm gonna do is this is manual focus right now so I, I don't know if you can see the focus peaking happening but there is focus peaking happening right now and then I'm just gonna manually focus and I'm just gonna keep doing that I know it's hard to see the iPhone really overexposes the LCD screen on my A99 I don't know why it does that maybe if I go at an angle there we go at an angle it looks a lot better <laughs> All right, this is the last shot. And I think this might look pretty cool in a long exposure. So in order for me to get this shot, however, I'm gonna need to wait a little while. Uh, so before I do that, I'm gonna move my subject and uh, replace it with something else. Right now, the sun has just set. And uh, we're looking at the uh, afterglow right now. And what I hope is that those clouds come in and then we can do a long exposure and then just get the streak in the sky. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. I have a little shell over there next to my camera is the foreground or the subject. And um, yeah, it's just really peaceful here. see that this is being recorded from my iPhone iPhones are obviously set to auto I do have a wide-angle clip-on lens I think it's the Ollie clip but it has nothing to do with what the color here let me show you let me take the clip off and look at that sky it's, it's just it's a purple sky and um, with my eyes it's not as purple as you see it in the camera right now or what am I or what I'm seeing it as but it is purple you know what guys i know you guys can't see me right now because i'm a silhouette but um it didn't go as planned but it's so relaxing still it's just beautiful and uh, it's hard to be disappointed and just being here you know my pictures may not have come out the way i kind of wanted it to it, it didn't come out the way i imagined but I'm the only one out here. It's beautiful. And uh, I mean, I love it. But the wind has kicked up. So the water is not glass. And um, unfortunately, the tide is not going to be low enough for me to, to get that glass. Especially with the wind. And right behind me is a pretty cool moon up there. So after all the shots taken, I kind of only really liked one image. It happened to be the 104 second image, and that was taken with a six stop ND filter. I hope you guys like it. Here it is. Not the best sunset, no. Oh yeah, just gotta be lucky, yeah. <laughs>